welcome back everybody and we're back with a much awaited course this is head island from stay puff 39 um pufty who is very much a veteran of the community possibly the guy in this contest who's been around the longest i want to say um anyway he's he's come out with he doesn't come out with many courses we're looking at like one a year probably but they're always really memorable and like fun and wild and often difficult so i'm really interested to see what he's done here um what tees would you like to be judged on blue tees any further conditions and must fast greens super tough and very firm we'll, we'll go with fast greens that's fine um are there key design features a really easter island inspiration routing is odd but holes even out in the end okay we will see uh, intended difficulty medium tough cc slash elite any real life courses very clearly no um so yeah we're gonna give this a go let's pop our fairways too firm because it's a highland i think and we're gonna go with greens as fast as recommended yeah he doesn't always but i think for this one he might oh yeah it's hard to tell he does it well let's go with pin two yeah he does on some all right so yeah i haven't played this one I haven't really watched this one either it's one of those that um did not come out but just I haven't seen much of, but uh, the pictures that I did see in Discords look a hell of a lot of fun. I mean, this is fairly mental flop. Still feel the giant flop god hole was a big missed opportunity, but it is a mad pairing. They're, they're very similar and yet very, very different. We get up to the edge of the world and then, well, I mean, that's stunning. Hmm. This is really cool. Little beach area down here with the rock. We got our, the three Easter Island heads, which we will look at from this direction. We've got one other, I think. Oh yeah, this guy. It, that's really pretty well done. I mean, this is going to be a lot of fun. So we've gone bunkerless again. The puppy post Yokozuna. Um, last year he had Old Sunset Field in Dream Team, which was just awesome. And unfortunately I never drew in judging. Just slightly gutty. Um, but yeah, like those big plot views are pretty incredible. I have no idea. Like, if you went up here and asked someone to draw out a routing, right, could could be anywhere. Hell of a fun plot, though. Hmm. Right. Let's give this a go. All right. Oh, we're playing directly behind Giant Mound. Big Green runs front to back. Okay, so we don't really want to pitch. Should be fine. I think wedge in is okay. I don't think he does. I think he just like goes with the plot and then whatever happens, happens. Okay, so you could play way out here and take on all the danger and get a view of the green, which I might do, just because I think that view looks great. He says putting it directly behind a rock. Oh well, best laid plans, huh? Really cool view, and I mean, I'd love to know what the elevation change top to bottom is. Pretty impressive. Planting is like low key, but works. Ah. Good, <laughs> Good work celebrating your lag part. Oh, 
I mean, that almost gives you vertigo just looking at it. We can probably find out. Okay. 226. Okay, 454, and we are... Just indulge me a second. Yeah, okay. Plus 20, so we're around 470. In terms of elevation change. Well, there's a... That is a scary pin. And it's not tucked right close to the cliff, and yet you're going to have to go pretty close to manage it. Planting here is great, like sunken some bushes as well. Yeah, we're just going to have fun at this one. So 71 is what, 20 yards odd? I think that's probably a shot. Mm, that fast is scary. That's not what we wanted. Oof, got lucky. We done out of bounds here? No, thank you, Bufty. Uh, I saw the one where it thought Brooks Kepka's shot went to a different island. That's about all I've seen. Oh, the one where it was down 47 feet, therefore it's taking 47 yards off or something. I did see that one. Yeah, this is wild. It's like what, we can lay up here, but probably, like, yeah. It's all very tight and awkward, isn't it? That's going through. I don't really want to hit this shot. Okay. And that means we get a little bit of a better angle around some of those slopes. Mm, I think that will do. So I should probably check who this is up against, um, so that we have that at least. So in terms of schedule, uh, Head Island is up all three days. Day one, Head Island and Old Stones, that's a pretty heavyweight part, pairing against De Yupa and Kemvola Ranch, which again, you've got two really good courses there. Uh, day two, out with Big Muff, first of all, of course, against Kenville Ranch again and Hackamore Field Club. And then on singles, this drew Kaiwaka. So There's some interesting matchups there. Ah, oh, might need to go. So some of the things you. you you always really notice about puppy courses, or at least I do, is like the sculpting that goes, and then you get these crazy hole designs around the sculpting. So two par threes in our opening four holes, which is good. There's a lot of like longer, consistent slopes, kind of similar to. I think Old Sunset did a lot of this as well with those. And they are, they're definitely trickier. That's too much. Which, again, just really puts premium on your elevation control because you do not want putts like this. I'm in 100% in the wrong part of this green. Ugh.
feel like I've done well to get it that close. That was a really tough part. Like, not a hint of red on there. Right? I was interested to see when the uphill holes came. I'm kind of... Because... A lot like this, it's very easy to go... It would be very easy to go down to the coast, but then... And then do all your parallel... Your... Kind of what's the word? All the holes perpendicular to it going there. And I'm more interested to see if we can use some of the side hill hole designs as well. Okay, so we can play to there. Jeez, this green. Like, I might like if this is a runoff, just this bit dropped a touch. But... I don't know. I think it works. Just a funky green shape. Which I think means we want to be here. It would be very easy to just make me run out of fairway because I'm just trusting that it's probably going to be okay. Zero calculation whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I have so many parts like this. Yep, didn't even come close to getting it to the hole. No, really fun so far. Oh my. Okay. You've done really well, actually, here, more than anything, not to get like the blackening of the land. Which I imagine you probably fought at points on this course. Can you carry that? I don't think you can, can you? 392, 320. I don't think you can. Yep, there is one. I mean... What an awkward fairway. Doesn't look like there's any fairway whatsoever. I think we're going here. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot of fun just watching the ball fly on this. I mean, that's a really fun view. You can carry it. Well, too late. Sorry, Wes. It's madness. Yeah, I can imagine. Like you, is this going on elite? Surely. Could see this going on elite or plat actually. Ah, oh, damn. I think that's my favourite hole so far. Just love the wildness of that fairway. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we've got a lot of these. Okay, so this is what you said about the routing, where you feel it kind of balances out. So this one definitely drivable, sure, you'd imagine. Can't even handle 187s. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I would not want to play this in any significant amount of wind. Be good to me, Puffy. Puffy. What the hell? I love both of those short fours. I would have loved them spaced out a bit more, but I guess you kind of work with what you've got. Par 5 now makes a lot of sense. This is awesome. Like the mounding and just general sculpting and sight lines, really good. Oh, 
actually feel like we might want to be down the low side. But you don't want to go too far that way and the wind's not really helping, so it's not, high side's probably a little easier to hold. Up D. Oh damn it. Just takes all the fun shots out. Somewhere down there will be good. I mean, I would love to play that pin far right. Saying this a lot, really hope I've got this one for matchups somewhere along the line. Just, just fun to play. Really good use of elevation change here in that that in no way looks uphill 50 feet. Really cleverly done. So what? We're just super gradual elevation change from here. Etty does this really, really well as well. The like the very gradual uphill hole. Oh. It's something I'm not good at at all. Really cool little green site banked into the rocky area. Okay, and we're playing back towards this. Ah, and we got a third green round there as well. Super funky. But cool feature to come back to. And it does make sense. It seems so. Low is not going to help. Yeah. No, I'm not going around here in level par. See what? Definitely not missing bunkers at the moment. I think you've defended this really well and it does feel varied. For me, the bunkerless thing is always like you get to, it's whether it holds up through the back nine as well. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of sheep ranchy in that in that way, in that there's a logical reason I guess why you wouldn't have bunkers. It got a little aggressive. It's a relatively uneventful scorecard so far. So I think we are definitely playing in a variety of wind directions, which is good. That was a, a slight concern at one point. Hmm. Not great. Sculpting helps us though. And it's par five, so Ooh, okay. On this one like the way you've done your elevation change is really good as well, because sometimes it's gradual, sometimes it's steep, and where it's done makes sense. So I think we can carry that. <laughs> Two little mounds are hilarious. The red fast is not going to help. Damn it. Um, we are going to have to go pit. Who knows? It's done way better than it had any right to. Planting's really good. 
It's having my eye kind of grabbed by these bushes that I think we haven't quite sunken down. So like dropping just in front would be good. They look like they're hovering a touch. Yeah, it's really good. Like it's simple, but it fits. And like your highlight is the land movement and the plot in general. I think that's done really well. Uppy's a super underrated planter. It just looks really good. I like that we've gone with tiny green now and we're back to that little cluster of three greens, which is cool. That's too much club, isn't it? So many parts I'm just getting nowhere near. I'm just racing through this one. I, I don't really have anything negative to say. Okay, this one's just super narrow, isn't it? I don't love this tee shot. I, I get that it's it is asking a slightly different question, but on a on a very like, help me, I'm not very good at this game. No, I would love a, a bit more of a layup option. That doesn't, that doesn't leave me with this. Uh, it's a little punch bowly, so I guess there's... Like, we've built in some forgiveness, because that's definitely a way you can play the hole. This makes it harder to get it like, stone dead, I guess. So which day in this and old stones paid up paid up? Is that the is that the first day or is this the yeah? Another little par three. <laughs> The little steps done really nicely, bit well. All about the details. Love the way this par three just sits in and amongst. Like it could, it would have been very easy just not to have a golf hole here, but it fits so nicely in this little bit of the land. I think the wind will hold that up. Finally, judge something about right. Yeah, another really good hole. I, there's just not much to criticise at all. Okay, so we're uphill. Trying to work out, yeah, the further right you are, the more you're kind of not hitting across this slope. It's nicely done. I think land's going to take us right anyway. First time it's gone behind a cloud. It's always a little bit of a shame, but I think it holds up. I like that it's rare enough. Go on, get to the hole. Damn, felt like that had a chance. Oh, maybe we will get around under par. Well, I've absolutely rattled through this one. 24 minutes and most of that was spent zooming around the plot at the start. I mean, there's just not much to criticise. So is that part of another hole or is this just a split fairway hole? Oh, it's just a split fairway hole. But what's that green? Oh, I am so lost. I 
Which one was that? Oh, we did play up this side. Hey, Deslotti. Yeah, we did play up that way. Okay. So we're meant to play up this side, but we could potentially go the other way. Yeah, it's quirky. It's definitely a good spot for a green. This one does, like, this one feels a bit more like a transition, like we just need to get back up to higher land hole. I think that's probably my least favourite hole so far. I just wonder whether, could you have made a bit more of this, like, little area and dragged the green a touch closer or... But then I, I do like where the back of the green is, so I guess that's probably the, the compromise and... Playing in different winds will make it different as well, I suppose. I don't know. I think it's more a comment on some of the earlier holes, I think. Dreadful. Good evening. We've You've joined us in time for the last two holes of, of Head Island, which has been a blast so far. Giant green on a relatively short hole. I'm not sure what I make of this one. I think it works. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? It's great. It's really bold. Just works. Yeah, I mean, it's what you get when guys are really, really good at what they do and I guess also don't do it too often. Oh, stay. Hey, Alec. That is very, very close to going a long way away. I think the big green really does work. I don't know if I'd have used the backstop at two, three putts in a row. We're not making it round under par. Come on, we can make a birdie on the last. 5.42. Huh. I really like being up back up here. But it feels a little bit like an underwhelming 18th. But like the part of the land it's on. And I get, I mean, you can't go particularly close to here, really. Dunno. Some mounds in front of the green or something to like add the drama. Yeah, yeah it would be. And you can't go much closer to here and I've probably got the wrong pin because going over here would definitely be bringing that into play. And it this will this cliff edge basically starts here. Because if you're bouncing a little bit that way you're gone. Yeah, I might need to play this one on a couple of different pins. Definitely haven't quite got the best pin for it. Uh, let's go to that. That was not the time for the slow. <laughs> Look at that pin. Mean marshmallow, man. Huh. That was not... Oh, we're not making it under par. That's a shame. So, let's go and have a quick look at... This is very much not a rookie course, no. This is Stay Puff Stream Team course. Um, it was... Oh, we got a few people just, just wandering on through. Yeah, very much not a rookie. That's very cool, using those. Look at that. Lovely. Little practice green. And way down there we have our way onto the island. Good man. 
use of the minivans, we like that. Awesome. Even par feels about fair. Well, there we go. I mean, that is one of the most creative courses I've played in a while. The view of the container clubhouse and Swiss and stupid names and farms. I mean, so you did mention, I deliberately didn't look at the scorecard whilst I was playing. Um, because you, you mentioned that the routing was a bit funky. It balances out in terms of distances. I would have loved to have seen six and seven spaced out a little bit more because I think they're both awesome. But hey, you do what you can. Um, and particularly his three was very short as well. Like those three close proximity, those four close proximity, might have tried to break those up a little bit more because then it, around the turn we suddenly had a lot long. Well, I think some of those were uphill as well, so they felt a lot longer. Um, but these. There's just so many really cool holes in there. I really enjoyed the par threes. Yeah, I thought par threes were probably my favourites actually. Um, and the couple of short par fours on the front were just awesome. But there's some really cool hole designs in there. I think a couple where you might have been just boxed into a corner and you needed to get somewhere. And yeah, there were. I think was it sixteen was the one that I just felt was not quite up to the level of some of the others, but. Still just an absolute blast to play. It should do really well. Um, and hopefully I'll be playing that one again. So as ever, thank you very much, guys, to for joining along. <laughs> it's actually like rooting from the red. Yeah, very much so. Um, thanks for joining along. We will probably not do any more tomorrow night, but maybe Monday night is looking good. So, yeah, see you again soon.